Hey friends, I just want to come on here and say very quickly, I filmed this video while I was on my social media detox and before I had heard anything about all the newer brutal crimes against brothers and sisters in the black community. Um, before George Floyd, before Breonna Taylor, well, after Breonna Taylor, but before I learned about Breonna Taylor and so many, many others. So I just want to say, I don't make a lot in, in terms of ad revenue. Um, honestly, it might be pennies, but anything that I do earn towards the Poshmark sales from this video, and there are quite a lot that I'm going to be putting up, I'm, got, I'm getting rid of a lot of clothing, and I think a lot of it is good quality and stuff that I'm proud to sell, um, and normally that money goes towards just kind of like buying different clothes, like kind of the, the resale kind of feel, but I decided that I want to put that money towards um, organization. Uh, most likely the National Bail Fund to help out people who uh, right here and now in the protests who are getting arrested unlawfully. Uh, depending on how much it is, I might split it up. I'm not sure. Well, you know, we'll see. Honestly, like it, the times are tough. COVID-19 is real and Gabe and I both are without jobs right now. But this is a spot in my income I use just towards um, buying things for myself. So I would like to use that money towards towards the cause. And it might even be after I upload the things on the Poshmark, I'll have decided which organization I'm donating it, donating it to. If you have any suggestions, please put them down below of what you're donating to. I've been donating to the Breonna Taylor Fund and also to uh, the National Bail Fund. Mm. I always find it interesting when people say things like, I'm not doing this because blah, blah, blah. But I wanna say like, I have been silent on social media for a very long time regarding political, not really social views as much, um, but I haven't been outright in the past on my social media on where I stand on certain issues. And um, I am proudly with the Black Lives Matter movement. And if that makes you uncomfortable, number one, good check yourself because that means something different than why I'm saying this good it should make you uncomfortable you should want change none of this is comfortable for anybody but if our discomfort can help the people whose lives are literally at stake then I am so willing to be uncomfortable I am so willing to do my work I am so willing to, to why I've been wrong in certain things. I am willing. I am willing to learn. I am willing to grow. I am willing to do the work myself because it is nobody else's job except my own to do this work. So even if this is just, so I'm not doing this. I'm not putting this Poshmark money because I feel guilty about being white. It's just a small contribution I can make to the black community when I'm saying money is, money is tight. Well, this is money that I use towards buying things for myself that I don't need. You will see in this video, I have plenty of clothes. I don't need them. Thank you for watching. And even if this is just a time in your day and just distract you or just not even distract you because I don't think that's the right wording. I want it to help you recharge for the fight. I want you to be able to recharge your batteries and if that means listening to this woman talk about clothes and body positivity and my journey on my self-love Thing, then that's what it is and yeah stay safe stay well and I love you all hello friends welcome back to my channel my name is Emily and you are at the home of the forever theater kid and today this theater kid this strong female lead doing another closet clean out I'm gonna be going through my closet and getting rid of things not only that don't give me joy anymore but also that well don't fit time for a closet clean out Daisy. How on earth? Alright friends, quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Quarantine has been a true test of uh, me and my body positivity journey and what that means for me. I have been struggling a lot lately in terms of kind of accepting what my body is right now compared to kind of where I would like it to be or where it would make me happy. And I know that that is a that's a really tough thing to talk about, and I know that that can also be a touchy thing to talk about, but every person experiences it. Now, here's the thing. I am so freaking body positive and empowering of other people and what they feel comfortable with in their own body and, and you know, the stages of where their body is at and loving it at each stage. I support that wholeheartedly. But for some reason, it's very difficult for me to accept that for myself. Anybody else? I'm not wearing my ring. Wasn't married for a second. Is that to, 
Is that something that anybody else goes through? Because it's a big thing for me. So I decided to put that out on the internet. As actors, we are, our bodies are our instruments. Our bodies are our work. And a lot of times our bodies are objectified and our bodies are seen as what the worth is. And that's a bunch of bull, but it's really, really hard to break your mentality away from that and to honestly be revolutionary with your thought process and loving your body in every stage that it's in. I am desperate to find that type of love for my body. And I, I do hope and pray that one day I will find it. But I know that that's not something that everybody experiences. Like not everybody is at that stage in their life where they're totally happy with their bodies. If you're watching this and you are so in that body positive, like I love this, I love these, this cellulite, I love these rolls, I wish I was there with you. I support you, but I'm not quite there yet. Health is always the most important thing, so if your body is healthy, then live your damn life. Be whatever size you are, and, and love yourself in every stage that you're in. I'm just having a really hard time putting those beliefs that I truly believe for other people onto myself. And I'm trying to figure that out in my life. This struggle is a big one for a lot of people and a big one for a lot of actors and performers out there especially maybe even ex cruise ship performers hi the cruise ship industry was detrimental on my self image we're working through that today we're working through our vulnerability we're using our vulnerability for good and I'm going to do a try on and a closet clean out of the things that might not fit anymore and things that might not fit but I still want to keep because maybe one day they will fit is this an unhealthy video to do? I don't know. All I know is I started doing this and I was like, I feel like I should film this. Is that dumb? I don't know if I should film this video, Kitty. I don't know if it's a good idea. For why? Because I don't know if it's going to be triggering for people. I'm talking about like body positivity and like my journey, but I'm like technically a skinny body, you know? I'm. I'm a size small in something, I'm a size medium, and there are women out there that are like so many other various degrees, and it's like, wh what is my place to talk about this? And I your body counts, your body matters. Like, you are well established as being all bodies are beautiful. I was just talking about it with Gabe. Not that I need anybody else's permission to do this video, I just needed someone to talk, to bounce this off of. Why is this so hard? No matter where you are on your self-love journey, I hope that this video gives you inspiration, helps you feel like you're not alone in the struggles of self-love. Because self-love, you don't just wake up one day and go, sure do love these thick old thighs. Like, don't think that happens for most people. I think most people have to kind of go on this roller coaster of emotions where some days they feel great and then other days they feel crap and you have to try to find what works for you. A lot of my joy in my body comes from my clothing. I didn't think that I'd be so sentimental about clothing in my life, but I am. Because clothing to me has become a memory, has become where I got it, what I was doing when I got it, or what I was feeling when I was wearing it. Especially since I've started making my own money in life, I only buy the clothes that give me joy. And so those are the times when I go, well maybe one day I'll fit in them again and they'll bring me joy again. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's good or if that's bad. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out too. Technically, by society standards, and probably by the general um, size of women in America, I am a smaller sized body. I understand that. And I think that there might, and I think what makes me scared about doing a video like this is that I might be offending a lot of you uh, watching this who, see me as too thin to talk about body positivity or see me as too small and um i'm here to say that i have a body too and i'm also going on this journey but i've also been told by many people that i'm too fat to be in a show i've been told that i'm too big to wear a costume that we're concerned of what you're going to look like on stage with other people i've been told these things and i think that's why i'm struggling a lot lately in terms of loving fully my body. I'm telling you, the days that I lift really heavy, the days that I have like a massively amazing workout, I like, I love every inch of this body, no matter how many 
little spots of cellulite there are, no matter how many stretch marks, no matter how many varicose veins I find, I see this and I'm like, ah, oh, this is my body. But then there are days when I look in the mirror and I just go, Ugh. and that's normal. I have to believe that's normal. If it's not normal, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This might sound silly, all I'm doing is trying on clothes that are in my own closet, but if these clothes that don't fit don't give me joy anymore, I want to give them to someone who they will give joy to. So things that are in good condition, I will put on Poshmark. So the link for my Poshmark will be down below. So I might be saving things that don't fit me because maybe one day they will. So we're going to try this. We're going to give this a go. Let's get trying on. Should we Marie Kondo it? Put everything on the bed? All right, we're going to do that. I also probably have far too many clothes. I'm not a minimalist. You? No. I don't know if I'll ever be a minimalist. Get off my back, Karen. We're gonna be a strong female lead today, taking charge. I do, I have already gotten rid of some stuff. There is some stuff in donation, and there is some stuff in Poshmark already. Marie Kondoing it, I've already done it. I'm already committed. A lot of this is gonna be montage. Ugh, jeans. Also, it's good to note that I might be keeping things and wanting to like fit back into things because I don't have a job right now. I can't just keep buying clothes that fit me right now. Like I can't just keep buying clothes for the sake of buying clothes that fit. Coronavirus has taken away my job. This is a real thing we're dealing with right now. Like maybe it's easy to say, oh, just, just, you know, just keep the things that give you joy right now. But like, I've talked about this in, an, in in when I first did the Marie Kondo series, is that actors don't have a ready income to be able to continuously buying clothes all the time because money is scarce sometimes. And especially right now, money is like scarce. It's real and that's not something to be ashamed of, but it's also not something to take lightly. I'm not like one of these YouTubers that is just like, Oh, here's another misguided haul. A lot of people don't have the income right now to just get rid of stuff and go buy not new. Now, technically, do I need any more clothes? No. This is the main bulk of the clothing. Most of it's still on hangers. We're just gonna start from the top. Those are Gabe's winter clothes, so those are not mine. A little bit of a montage. This is actually a really cute thrift, like a thrift, th what's the word? This is upcycled. It's part of a dress that I wore to Disney last year. Picture here when I was in Epcot. It's just, I love the pattern, but I knew, I put it on and I was like, this does not fit my body anymore. I love the pattern, I love the bodice of it, and I love like the ties. And I was gutted to like have to get rid of this material that I really love. My mother-in-law works on creating clothing all the time. She's making masks. So I asked her if she would like just basically cut Cut off, cut off the top and sew up the hem for me so I could wear it as a top and she did. And the rest of the material, my mother-in-law made a mask out of it. And we're also gonna make a little bandana for Daisy. So cute. This is what it's about, like finding the materials that give you joy. I made use of what the dress offered and working with it in the body that I have. And now I'm so excited to wear this. And you're gonna wear the bandana, you understand me? I won't hear another word about it. She doesn't like matching her mother. Did anybody else used to dress uh, match with their mom when they were like really little? My mom and I used to, if I can find a picture, I'll put it right here, but my mom and I used to wear like Laura Ashley matching like onesies basically and like hats in the 90s. Oh my god, it's so cute. Those were the cutest. If I can get this little stain out of this, I'm gonna sell this. It's really cute, but it's just too tight on my arms and it's, it's just a t-shirt. I do like this old like camp style thing. Let's see if it still fits. Yeah, it's just a little too tight here, 
and love this detail I think it's so cute but it's not enough to make me go matters enough for me to want to fit into it more does that make sense if I can get this stain out I will sell this one on Poshmark Did I tie? I feel like I should tie dye this. Tie dye you. Tie dye you. This shirt does nothing for me. I can see to Pennsylvania in it. There's so many holes, but it's so soft and I just haven't gotten rid of it yet. Thank you. Thank you for your time and your service. Wait, do I wanna? I don't know. Thank you. Ooh. Daisy, it's all right. It's also not about having clothes for like my larger faces, phases or like my smaller phases in life, but it is nice. It's like if you can find things on Poshmark that are a different size, they're like the same item, but that gives you joy, but doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. It could be good to look into Poshmark for that kind of thing. I'm not being sponsored by Poshmark. I have found those exact shorts, the From Forever 21, I have found those exact shorts on Poshmark in a large, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna get them so that I'll have a pair for this summer that I feel really comfortable in because they're really cute and they're very flattering on me. And in the body that I'm in right now, I still want to wear shorts that look like that and show off my figure. So I think I'm going to get those in large. But I think I am going to keep those for if I do get a little smaller in the future that I still have a sh pair of shorts that make me feel really good. Shorts are freaking tough and they usually have always made me feel like crap. So if I found a short that I really, really love that makes me feel confident and I grow out of them, I'm gonna keep them so that if I ever do go back down then I'll have that pair still. Faux leather leggings, I love you so much. Barely warn you though, because quarantine. Now these pants are a perfect example of things that don't quite fit me anymore, but I love them so much that like I'm willing to wait for the time that I do fit in them again. Number one, they're a great quality jean. I think they're from Hollister? From Abercrombie & Fitch. Since when did Abercrombie & Fitch start fitting girls with thick butts? They're just a little too tight now, but it's one of those things where I'm just like, this is quarantine tight. Like this is because, this is not because my body needs to shift. Stress and life has put a couple of pounds on my body and I love them and I'm not gonna get rid of them. Go look America, cause I'm here. I don't know about these. They fit me per, oh. Easy loves, lives for chasing light. And since they have sequins, wait, 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 look, look, look. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign to get rid of these because they are stressing my dog out. Okay, Daisy, I'm getting rid of them, baby. These jeans, love these jeans, love these jeans. really jump anymore into my pants but I do a I do an around town it's so nice American Eagle is such a good place for jeans for girls with big butts these are a freaking game changer do you know why these are by Z supply I got them on Poshmark I just wanted to know I keep saying that I just got off this off Poshmark I just got this off Poshmark and I'm like it really sounds like I'm spending like so much money. I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but the way I shop on Poshmark for the most part, I can explain this in an another video, is I only shop with the money that I've made from other sales. So technically like out of everything that I probably ever bought off Poshmark, I've probably only spent like $10 of my own money. But yeah, that's kind of like my way of doing that. So I feel like I'm shopping, but it's like super, thrifty in a way, so I don't know why. I just felt the need to say that. These are overall sweat pants. What? I found an overall that is as comfortable as I want them to be. Okay, so I still really love this dress. It's beautiful, it fits me really nicely. Lining underneath, there's absolutely no stretch to it and it's detachable. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the dress. I just really love, I forgot how much I love this dress. It's like caftan, like it's like this fabulous caftan. No wonder it doesn't fit that much, it's an extra small.
Like what? How? How did this ever fit my body? And why did I complain? Another thing I'm working through. This is an outfit that makes me feel a little sad for how tight it is. But also it's one of those things where I'm like, I've worn it so much. I've worn it to weddings, I've worn it on the ship a lot. It doesn't give me any like type of sentimental value. The top is cute. So I don't have a lot of halter tops that are like this kind of cut. So what if, what if I like simply, and I mean it honestly simply because it's, it's just connected to like elastic right here. What if I just cut this and kept it as a top? I think I might do that. I think this is possible. I think we're gonna keep it as a top. I think we're gonna thrift flip this one. I'm gonna do it myself. Ugh, I'm stuck. This still fits. This is such a pretty dress that I completely forgot how much I loved it. This is my dress that I wear if I'm singing a wedding um, because it's like black tie. I think in this light with my bra strap showing, it doesn't seem like it, but it is. It's actually less tight up top than it used to be. But that's good to know that I still have a little black dress. This one's making me sad because I think it honestly just shrunk in the wash. Cause I think I washed it recently. I wore this to my, my rehearsal for my wedding and I just, I can't give this one up yet. I love this dress too much to give it up. Let's talk this dress. Pardon the boobies. I wore this in Bali all the time. I wore it for my birthday party on the ship. It's very, I mean, I could wear it as a robe. It's a very sexy robe, my tatas. It's not something I could wear out. It's just, it doesn't come in enough. Like literally my vagine is like right here. I could still wear it as a cover up. I could still wear it as a duster, like as a kimono. I can adjust how I wear it for the body that I have now. Because this dress is one of those dresses that like when I found it, I was so in love. I can't part with it. I can't do it. I won't do it. I am willing to keep this, even though it doesn't fit the body that I have now in the way that I want it to. We're going to make it work for the body I have, so that makes me feel sexy. I mean, honestly, is it that bad? No, not that bad. It is tight because it's bunching in the back. Like, it used to lay completely flat. I'm going to style it really quick to see how I can make it work for this body. Again, I'm getting these in a large, so they'll fit me a little bit better for this season. But high-waisted shorts, a bralette that, honestly, this goes low enough that I wear it as a top if I'm wearing high enough, high enough shorts with it. It works well. I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm covering up enough. But I feel even more comfortable if I have just a little bit of a duster on. And there you go. I think that's really cute. I was really upset I was going to have to get rid of this one. Okay. This one, not gonna lie, makes me straight up sad. I mean, it kind of makes my boobs look really good. It's just a little tight across the chest. A little tight on the butt, too. This used to just, like, lay completely flat, and I would just wear this around the apartment. I would wear it around the ship. I would wear it everywhere. This was just, like, one of my, the perfect dress for me. This is my happy dress, and my happy dress doesn't fit me, and that devastates me. I don't think all is lost. If it doesn't fit by next summer, We'll reevaluate. Okay, here's one that I don't know about. I at it now, and when I first tried this on like two weeks ago, when I first got it back from my parents' house, I was really sad when it didn't fit. The more I think about it, I don't really care. This dress doesn't, this isn't my happy dress like that other dress was, you know? I think someone else will get happy and life out of this one, letting this one go. So thank you, but girl, bye. This, a little sad about this. This was just one of those like sexy beach outfits I had and I looked far and wide for one. I got this for my honeymoon and I would always see people on ships wear them and I was like, oh my God, that's so sexy. But like, girlfriend, did I have ribs on ships? I'll probably get the bottom, surprisingly. But like the bottom is all the way up my butt. It made me feel really good on ships and I'm honestly like, I thought I'd kind of be spilling over it in terms of like cookies that I love to eat, but it's the top that's surprisingly really small on me. I think the time has passed for this. Not because I don't think it's appropriate or like for my body type, I don't look good in it. I think it's just like, I actually look better in it than I thought I would. But I just kind of think that this look for me, at least at this time, has passed. I don't plan on going to a tropical vacation anytime soon. When I do, maybe I should just get a new one. This is from the store called Steps, which is 
actually like really cute trendy pieces but I, it's not like I would like I wouldn't wear this to an audition I wouldn't wear this out to dinner I would only wear this if I was at a resort out to dinner and that time in my life is like not over and past but it's not my everyday anymore it's not my it's not my normal right so although it kind of pains me I think I'm I'm okay with like saying goodbye to this someone else could rock this these pants this makes me sad this makes me sad this makes me really sad I should just get rid of them because these are making me feel bad about myself a little better a little bit better I think they're also backwards Are they backwards? I don't want to keep anything that's gonna make me feel bad about my body even the jeans that are tight that I'm keeping don't make me feel bad about my body they don't make me feel like I'm too big to wear them they make me feel like okay well when the time is right for me to wear them again I'll wear them because jeans are always hard right jeans are always a difficult thing to fit on any type of body so these are making me feel like crap so they're going so thank you but goodbye I got this from Anthropology years and years ago. And every season I'm like, do I keep that? Do I keep it? And it still holds true. Like, this must have been one of the first pieces I got that I was like, that's my style. Esmeralda skirt, as always. This is gonna be my summer aesthetic. Like, flowy skirt and like a crop top, flash like bralette. How do we feel about these, Daisy? Yes. Well, I wore these to dinner and on a walk with Daisy, and I have reformed my love, so I'm keeping these. Okay, this is not the... Okay. <laughs> my butt is like... out. This is like how every uniform used to fit. Like, it technically fits, it's fine. But this is what I get. That does not make me feel good about my body. Okay, okay. I'm st okay. I tend to really enjoy the skirt, even though it's a little small. But there's something about it that, like, though it's small and it's like too tight on me right now. Like, I feel really cute in it. Like, these shorts are not backwards, even though they feel like they are. And they are not making me feel good about myself at all. I've always had to like roll them down because they were oddly like too long. So I had to like Sophie Short style them. Anybody else know what Sophie Short is and the rolling method that us early aughts kids had to do? Yeah, I think I'm gonna give these up. If anybody wants them on Poshmark, they will be available. Yeah, they're not making me feel good about myself. They're really cute. I've worn them with this combo a bunch and I just don't feel like myself. I don't feel good. These have always been cute. I got these again in Australia and they they don't fit don't fit at all I'm like struggling to keep them on they're riding there's no way I could feel good about these this summer and you know what I don't know they're really cute and I think I like them because they were a cutoff short that covered my butt and I felt comfortable in them when they did fit and they're kind of making me feel bad about myself so I don't know what maybe I'll put them on Poshmark and if fate has them be sold they'll be sold and if not if they don't sell this summer, I'll try them next summer, and maybe they'll fit. But the way that they feel on my body, and specifically my crotch right now, to be honest, is very, very tight, and there's no way in hell. I just don't know how I feel. I honestly don't know how I feel, because technically, it still fits. And could be a cute outfit for some, like, social distancing barbecues. Get your cheek on. Uh, get your cheek on. Uh, get your cheek on. Get your demonetize me. This totally still fits me and it's totally cute but it's not my style at all. Honestly this could be a very good audition dress. It could like if I were going to a dance call this could be a good like dance call dress. So maybe I should keep it for those purposes. I mean this is a very Disney dress like I, I got this for Disney. I don't think I'd wear it any other time other than Disney like Today's Memorial Day, I didn't even think about wearing this dress. I'll put it in the in the costume box. Like if I were Minnie Mouse for Halloween, which is a very probable Halloween costume in the future. Yeah. This dress, super cute. Way too short for normal life. We've changed up cameras again. I love this because I really love the design in the front and I just got rid of a dress that like had this type of look in the front, like kind of Mexico-esque type of flowering, and I think that flowering is so beautiful. However, with the material, anytime you hang it, it does this, 
and I don't like that. And also, like, I kind of want to make it more of a tunic. So I'm thinking, like, if I created, like, two little slits that kind of went all the way up, that might be really cute. Opened it up more, made it a little sexier because, like, then I would, then you could, like, see the bralette I'd be wearing underneath. And then I would wear it probably with, like, jean shorts or biker shorts or even just jeans. So that's... <laughs> I'm putting my hair up. It's going up. This dress. I don't know why I feel this weird obligation to keep this dress. Because I found it on a crazy sale and it's such a good dupe for um, a free people dress. And when I wear it with a bralette, it's very, very sweet. I really like this dress, but something about it, like, I don't reach for it all that much, but I really do like it. Like, I think I reach for more little red dresses than I do little black dresses. I just don't, like, there's something about it that I don't wear it all the time. Like, for example, this is a little red dress that I just got off Amazon. Totally, like, satisfies the need that I, I think I want that red dress that I just saw to, like, do. Even if I, like, belt it a little bit to make it a little, like, zhuzhier or if it's just kind of like a house dress. I do really like this one. Another one where it's just like, does it do anything for me? And I do really like this. I like this lace detailing. It's a very cute dress, but it's also one of those dresses that I've worn a lot. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna think of that, this like, like the overalls. I'm gonna try to sell it on Poshmark. And if it sells, it was meant to be. If it doesn't sell and I wanna wear it, I'll make it unavailable and I'll wear it. Mm. Oh no, I loved this and it is not fitting. Okay. I haven't worn this one in a while and I haven't thought to wear it. It's really not doing anything for me. Yeah. Bummer. Okay, this still very cute. Happy with this one. Instead of wearing a dress to an audition, if it's like for something more um, classical Broadway and if I were auditioning like in the spring, <laughs> this would be the outfit I would wear. I think it shows just the right amount of skin for an audition and I think it's very cute, so. I'm happy that this one still fits. I'm really, I'm pissed about that romper though, man. <sighs> okay, I don't know. I've always liked this and it's not fitting. I should sell it. I've had this one forever. It's time. So obviously this is a dress I'd wear with biker short and the dress itself fits lovely. It's just the arms that are tight, but I also remember the arms being tight when I first got it when my arms were probably like at their fittest. So I'm definitely keeping it. I definitely don't think I'd wear it as a dress. It's very short, but maybe with longer biker shorts cause I did just order some like faux leather biker shorts. So that actually might look really cute. I would definitely wear this with like jean shorts and tuck it in or even just like regular jeans and tuck it in. I don't know. I just thought this shirt was like, was really pretty vintagey vibe of it. Honestly, like if I had white biker shorts, they'd look really cute with it. This will probably be like a biker shorts outfit. <sighs> Very hair. This is another Poshmark dress. I got this, I mean, I think I only got this in March. This is my happy dress for this summer, for sure, because it's that beautiful yellow color. It's got floral on it, and it's just, it's really, really cute. Reminds me of like a farmer girl's <laughs> cost, like outfit. I'm noticing a pattern. I have so many baby doll dresses. I did not realize how many I had. It's very, very light, very linen-y. It's a little itchy on the arms. It's a great summer dress, and I'm very happy that this one still fits. This dress, I don't know how I feel about it. I know that it still fits, and I love the back detail of it, but the front is just so, like, smocky. I wish it just had something on the front, because the back is so outrageously fun. But like the front needs a little something. I don't know. But I don't have anything in this periwinkle color. I think this is great as a beach cover up. Great for those Insta shots of just like the back of your dress. Even if it was just a top, go with me here. No, I do like this dress. I think there's something that I can put in the front of it that will just zhuzh it up a little bit and make me want to wear it more. Oh, but that back is so fun. So cute! Oh, oh, I can also make those. So this was like my staple on ships. It's a free people top and it's great. It's a great top. It's definitely shrunk a little bit in the arms, but again, I always do something like this. And this is just kind of a staple in my life. I was thinking I would get rid of it and putting it on again. I'm like, oh no, I love this dress. I have a problem with baby doll dresses and florals. 
clearly. By the way, that's all stuff I'm donating. It's such as trash. I've never even mentioned that pile of trash. Early ship days, I went through a phase with this print. I love me some bull and I never wear this. I like my shoulders a lot, but I never wear this. And every time I'm about to get rid of it, I go, maybe I'll wear it. So that means I'm not gonna wear it. So I'm getting rid of it. All right, this shirt is so unnecessary, but I really like it. I just really like the stripes. The stripes are so cute. Oh, it reminds me of saltwater taffy. That's what it is. It reminds me of saltwater taffy. See, this makes me go, hmm, when I put it on. These shirts are over five years old and they're still amazing. This shirt is so unique. I'm keeping it. I know that this fits. I wear it in so many videos. I'm starting to get over this. I think I'm gonna try to sell this. Ooh, y'all, you better head over to my Poshmark. It's gonna be hopping and cute over there. This, I hope fits, cause I, Really liked it when I got it. Oh, yay! Okay, good. This is great. And this color, I can't. So it makes me sad because I never wear it and I think that means it's time. Can we just, it's so cute. This is my, I call it my Sergeant Pepper jacket. It's free people. And I got it from like TJ Maxx. I mean, it's a bomber-esque jacket. And look at these details. Look at that, it's so pretty. But I never wear it. I've had it for, oh my God, I love it. But why don't I wear it? My pride does not want to give this one up. I don't know what to do. Cause I never wear it. And I know someone else could wear it and get so much good love and use out of it. But there's something about this jacket that makes me not want anybody else to have it. I'm gonna be selfish and I'm keeping it. All right, well I got this before lockdown and I'm not, I don't know if I regret it or not. Oh, it's cute. Canadian tuxedo. Okay, Gabe thinks this is ridiculous. But again, I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's really cute. And like, this is straight up from the 80s or early 90s. I don't know, I think this is cute. I'm gonna keep it. It's putting this type of smile on my face, so I think that means I should keep it. But I would wear this with like jean shorts. And these jean shorts don't fit me, so I'm not gonna wear this. So that means I definitely have to get that other pair. All right, I'm not trying anything else on because I know everything else fits and that I love them. I'm tired, and I just wanna put this on the time lapse and put everything away. Time lapse time in three, two, one. If you want a video on how I sell and get my stuff ready on Poshmark and and kind of like the steps I take to get things sold, I'm by no means a reseller on Poshmark, but I do find some really cool finds there and I haggle like nobody's business. But I also sell my own clothes there. So if, if you're interested in seeing a video about how I do Poshmark stuff. Tell me down below. I can't believe that I didn't even film an outro. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my closet clean out and my try on and getting very vulnerable about all my body-ish. So I hope that this connected with you in some way. All the earnings that I make through my Poshmark sales for this stuff that's in this video specifically, which is most of my closet to be honest on Poshmark, uh, are gonna, is gonna go directly to a donation that directly goes towards um, either Black Lives Matter or one of the affiliate fundraisers. If you wanna donate, if you wanna sign petitions, if you want to call your, your local and state representatives, if you want to register to vote, all of those links will be down below. I'm gonna put the, the link to the big Google Doc that's been going around Instagram. So much information and so many resources. I'm gonna put that down below. Yeah, I when I figure out which specifically which donation um, the money is going towards, I will put it down below. 
So if you would like to donate there as well. Remember that also this time is not just like a trending topic. This is not just something that is going to clear up right away. This is going to take a lot of time and it's going to take a lot of change and progress for people in the black community to actually feel as if they're making progress. So we have to really be the best allies that we can be. Listen, listen, listen to them. The best way to start is just to start. So if you're afraid to speak up, if you're afraid you're going to say the wrong thing, it's better to say something and be corrected and humble yourself than to stay silent. So use your voice in positive ways. Know that I love you. And thank you for watching this extremely long video. I've had a couple of very long ones lately, but that's where we're at. Stay safe. I love you. Please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram so that we can continue to grow and and uplift each other. And I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm always trying to do that on my channel, but now more than ever, I feel a calling to do it even more. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I'll see you in my next video.